Hi, welcome to this weekend tower long reading. <clears throat> My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So I'm um, getting a couple of things, <laughs> more things come in, but um, initially what I got, first of all, I got copycat. So I'm still getting the, you know, uh, people copying you, people copying me, that kind of thing. Um, and I'll repeat, um, well, if you're watching and you're feeling that people are copying you, say you're another tower reader watching me or, or something like that, you're on social media and you feel that, um, there's nothing you can do. Don't overlarge yourself. Don't dress up even more. It's for those people to learn their lessons of your being your authentic self. So they need to be their authentic self because that's what they're copying. Um, they're missing the point, but I, that was the first thing I got was copycat. I'm like, oh my gosh, still. Okay, the other thing I'm getting, which is quite interesting, but, you know, to me maybe, but um, a bit to you, is that I got um, clocked. And I said that's interesting because uh, I, I think that's a street slang. <laughs> like, you know, you've, you, um, well, actually, it's kind of not, because, you know, when you say people are clocked on, but I'm feeling this is more of the terminology of, your person's clocked, <clears throat> that people are clocking you, checking you out, basically, right? They're clocked, that people are clocked onto you. And um, it's kind of like, say you're the, well, mo majority, majority of readings are the feminine that watch. I don't understand why people do a masculine and a feminine reading, because masculines do not really watch tarot, to be honest with you. They watch you, but they don't really listen too much to the tarot reading. Uh, but anyway, you know, when they do divine masculine, divine feminine reading, divine masculines are not listening to a tarot reader. You're supposed to be listening. But anyway, this is to do with the masculine, when you're first in the connection, you kind of find out <clears throat> along the way, unless you know straight away, but generally you find out that there's a third party involved. A connection that um, not only uh, loves your person, but uh, define love is what I got, but, you know, a different variation of love compared to your love and wants to control not want to, is some kind of control element with your person. So you clock onto that, but regardless of you knowing the third party, you're like, Meh. well, I'm a twin flame, so that connection will slide off. Meh. You know, she's ugly, he's ugly, he will come towards me. Meh. And why I'm saying that is because you, um, it doesn't slide, does it? It remains the third party and you get pissed off and blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, hold on. Why isn't it gone? Why are they still with this third party? I feel that's what's happening with your person. They're now clocked that, hold on. I know my person, my twin flame, they don't really use that, is attractive. But matey is still in the background. Matey is they're still pulling new people. Or, or something like that. They're now clocking that they could actually lose you to someone else. The same denial how you was. The difference is you kind of knew they had third party, but you igno ignorantly ignore, ignorant, ignore it and think, oh, it will go away. Your person knows you're attractive, but ignorantly thinks that you will never pull anyone else, right? So like I said, I think there's a clocked energy of that now my initial energies, but it's not the initial, it normally goes into the reading, I'm interested how this is going to go into the reading, so let's jump in, let's see what's happening here, oh, 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 why is that relevant, maybe this because of, it's going to make your person move forward, <clears throat> knowing that there's, you know, if you think that you're going to lose something, you might make more effort to keep it, might be that. <clears throat> Let's see. That was slash more of my opinion. So let's see what the cards say. <clears throat> Check out the description box. 
check out the uh, the Facebook. The Facebook's free. You get free programs as well, mini programs. You can ask any questions in there. If you want personal question, we have a WhatsApp group and a Gmail. It's ten pound a month. Come on now, if you can't afford that, fucking hell. <coughs> Take it off your what you would buy it up. Pretend it's your child, right? They ask you ten pound a month, you'll give it to them. Uh, all right. So let's see what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> there's that third party, like I said. There's they're recognizing that there's third party with you, not just with your person. The third party with you. Okay, so Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords, a lot of thinking here. Hierophant, Hierophant came out again, so I need to ask about that. Knight of Swords is, oh, <laughs> I like that. Counterparts, Twin Flame Counterparts. Hierophant and High Priestess. So let me see what this is about. This is leading to a celebration of union, really. Yeah, I, I feel there's, like, I, <laughs> it, 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 it fascinates me because when I get my initial energy, meditating, whatever, on upstairs, on what this is, what they say to me, I'm like, what? How's that? come into the reading but it does come into the reading because the knight of swords to me the first card is no more clouds can you see the cloud around his head but he's looking towards the light sunlight whoops this way the sun is here but it's all clouded around his head that's smoke and drugs i'll just put that out there right but now he's looking towards the sun his happiness right and the sun is also enlightenment so he's had a quick because the knight of swords is quick a quick enlightenment about you right about you and i feel like i said because you're you're underneath here right yeah because there was a web of deception which i said the initial energy is many people like i say to them what's your third party if you do counseling with me right which i don't do counseling anymore book someone else and um, <clears throat> it's my counselling programme, so you can get 100% money back guarantee with anyone else you book. But anyway, we do counselling, and I say to you, who's your third party? Like, it would be delusional. Now nah, there's no one else. There's no one else, right? That's this delusion, the web of delusion between... Nah, and it's, it's interesting because it's something to do with um, a delusion of, like, your spiritual. So you wouldn't have other people. Do you get what I mean? It's like, because you're a spiritual person, you wouldn't be. They don't feel you're cheating, but they somehow think that, you know, I wouldn't say you're godlike, but it's kind of like that. If you go to a spiritual retreat, you wouldn't think of this spiritual retreat person or have all these people that's interested in them, right? So there was something to do with that. Oh, do you know, she's my twin flame. Yes, they ain't really saying that, but they kind of know that. But she's doing a, a Reiki acupuncture that you don't get pulled in that. If she worked in an office, the office people always having affairs and stuff. They they categorize that you was this spiritual person, that that's why you wouldn't have options. Is what I'm getting. I don't think you're dabbling in these options because it's not actually here. Right. Um, <clears throat> well, I'll see, actually, because they pulled me back. You might be. Because I'm actually getting uh, some twin flames, some feminines are not going back. Mm, uh, okay, not going back to their counterpart until things are changed. And if it doesn't change, then they're not going back. That's what I'm picking up. That's upstairs. Anyway, so there, there's a trick. Yeah, he was lying or she was lying to themselves about... Yeah, they were lying to themselves about how you make them happy. That's so weird. It, it's I suppose it's kind of like an alcoholic 
knowing you're an alcoholic, but lying to yourself about it. Because what I'm getting is they know you're the happiness, but they were lying to themselves about it. It's like, why <clears throat> do that? Why? Why? It's not like they didn't know. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. But they were lying to themselves about it. But a quick awakening to how important it's not. Yeah, important. It's more than that. It's not important. It's it's not, it's kind of like they do love you. You do make them happy, and how it's more it's more like your presence, your being, what you are. The high priestess is amazing, right? It's what it's a quick waking up to a light bulb moment of who you are, and understanding. You might not understand it. It's kind of they understand why you're here. It's like you're collaborating worlds because I'm getting the veil of illusion. And the veil of illusion within the high priestess is about, uh, it's a veil between 3D and 5D. And the veil is in the middle. Like it's, um, it's a veil which you can, you can, you need to learn to see through it, see through the, the 3D bullshit and with the 5D. So that's kind of like understanding why you're here, the whole bigger picture. There's a lot here. And it was like, I'll give another example. It's going to sound silly, but it's what's come to me. It's like me dating Brad Pitt, right? And, uh, you know, a couple of months later, I'm like, yeah, I'm dating Brad Pitt. You know, people ask me, oh, you're dating Brad Pitt? Yeah, I'm dating Brad Pitt. And six months later, yeah, I'm dating Brad Pitt. And then someone comes up to me, you know you're dating Brad Pitt. You, you know he's fucking international, a superstar. Uh, uh, and, you know, even saying, you know, you're just a blah, blah. It's, it's so amazing that you have someone like that. It, it's like, you know, um, for Brad Pitt to date me, now I'm not downgrading myself, but this is the example I'm picking up. You know, he must see that how important you are. He Brad Pitt don't value uh, date people who don't value the same as themselves. It's like a quick turnaround to how important you are. It's not necessarily downgrading them. It's kind of making them see that, wow, this person is so special and is interested in me that I must, ah, and that turns them into the Hierophant. Because before, it was like lack, insecurities, and it's recognising, oh, this person is important. This person is my happiness and enlight enlightens others. It's, it's massive. It's kind of like a big thing here. Uh, like I said, they clocked. There's a, a massive clock of, wow, this person has options and just focuses on yourself. On, on you, the high priestess is about doing everything within and what manifests without. It's, it's loads. It's massive. Eight of Swords. It's Why is the Eight of Swords? Because of... Ah, before it was a nightmare. It, it's like they couldn't... It, it's like the awakening moment that before... You just couldn't get it. It's like when I went to get counselling about my abuse when I was younger. Obviously, I, I had the abuse, but, you know, and <clears throat> I was brought up with my mum and <clears throat> all this kind of stuff, but I couldn't clock on how my mum was involved with this abuse. I never saw that. Absolutely never saw it without going into specifics. But my point is, like, when the woman explained it to me, I was like, what? Wow, it, that's, you're right. There's no other way to it. Completely changed my dynamic of seeing something. And I don't know if you've ever experienced that. Someone pointing that, um, I repeat, counselling, right? You think you know, counselling all day long shows you something that you're I, how many times do I cuss out mission people about, listen, you lot can't see it. Listen to what I'm saying. Of the, and they always, well, not always, but sometimes they do things and they think they know. Because there's loads of swords here, eight of swords and another, a knight of swords. 
which is eight of swords stuck, nine of swords, because you add the one sword from the knight of swords, eight of swords stuck, knight of swords, uh, nine of swords, nightmare. So you get stuck in this nightmare overthinking, because swords is logicating and overthinking a situation, and it's like, wow, that's it. And it's like buying the program, sexual abuse in the master program. It'd be like, this is why I feel like that. You, that it's that kind of situation. Wakes up your person to the higher mind. Also, because Hierophant, higher, that's why Twin Flames, the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Not the Empress and the Emperor, please. Please. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. The higher, higher, right? Because you're... You, you are here as a twin flame light worker, star side, star seed to teach people about all verses of reality, not just three D. The emperor, and the, the emperor builds things on a three D. The empress is Mother Earth that keeps you on three D. The higher, we're here to teach people. Yes, we live on planet Earth, but connect with the billion and um, billion entities and multi verses of reality, five D, which can help you and guide you. Right. So it's instead of stuck nightmare situation, because you can see he is facing the sun and put the stuck energy behind him, right? Of whatever that was. The eight, it was overthinking whatever situation. So now he's getting into, yeah, it's like, they recognize with my hierophant. I think this is on other, anyway. Can you see he's holding the key by his heart? And he's just like, it's just the two of us. And he's got the twins, the twins, right? And can you see it's like a, 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 the, the enlightenment all around him, right? It's like he's getting enlightened, enlightened here. And I like this because although the guy doesn't look like David, you know, pe people call David Jesus. Oh, yeah, Jesus, yeah, more like Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, it's an enlightenment to a godlike being, right? And it sounds so hippy-dippy spiritual, but that's what I feel your person is kind of enlightening to who you are, the high priest is, that is, like I said, clocked, the initial energy, to enlightening to who they are. Like I said, with Brad Pitt, for Brad Pitt to date me, and I don't like to say that because it sounds like I'm less, and there's no one I'm intimidated by, apart from David sometimes, and that's sliding, which is good. But no one else on this planet will ever, in, it does intimidate me, right? I love that, right? No one would, right? And um, But it's like, going back to that example, if Brad Pitt dated me, you may think I would be, wow, I'm so lucky to have him and I'm insecure and stuff like that. But this is waking up to, no, fuck yeah, they, Brad Pitt would date me because I am amazing. And um, he values himself and he's hardworking and he's out there. So no wonder why he dates me because I'm his match. This is recognizing, like I said, wow, why are the matches here, right? Your person is your match he's waking up to it or your person right the the two of pentacles why is that underneath the eight of swords oh the juggling but what juggling of mine is why is that they said it's why <laughs> connected with mental enslavement it kept you mentally enslaved which is part of the contract but why Ah, because what happens is this this contract, because this is definitely to do with Twin Flame Union, the contract here, with the counterparts on the fucking table. This is to do with, we are here to teach people about you are enslaved. And the best way how the elite secret society Illuminati enslaved planet Earth, which is to pretend you're not enslaved, giving you some version of freedom, but keep you mentally enslaved. And this, this is like a version of mental enslavement on oneself. 
I hope that makes it. And that's what you lot do as well. You enslave yourself with thinking is your thoughts, not thinking you're better, not thinking you're good enough. Put all your energy into your fucking children and it's all of you that do that. And it's like, this is about yourself, the high priestess, loving yourself. So it's, it's waking up your person to how they value who you, this is if you value yourself. It's weird, it's kind of waking up your person to the high priestess. That's you and that they are that. And it's done quickly. And that's what happens. This is, is You just wake up and you're like that, right? It's quick like that. So the two of pentacles is... This is now balancing out this stuck energy. So you can move on. Like I said, it's to a celebration. That will then... Because the hierophant's on top of these three of cups. That will then show your person how they've been stuck with this third party like how the third party just go out drinking party in their 3d they're bothered about you know getting boob jobs and looking pretty and look you know i have someone here who's completely different that is a powerhouse which doesn't and they're not saying that you're not like that because of you know Twin flames fancy you like fuck, right? And vice versa. But what I'm saying is that there's a false, a pretense. And like I said, it's kind of like a copycat. <laughs> That's probably why I'm getting copycat. Trying to be like others. And you're just your amazing self being you. And that's how they're seeing it. And it's like, wow, this, this is massive. It's like, they're seeing that you may put up yourself. Say as if you, that um, people see you as big as J-Lo, right? But they're seeing that you match J-Lo's potential by you being yourself. Whereas their third party would try to dress like J-Lo, dance like J-Lo, sing like J-Lo. They're seeing that you match J-Lo. I hope this makes sense. With you just being, focusing on you and doing exactly what you want to do. But this is your work because you're connected with 5D. This is 3D bullshit. And they're recognizing how they were stuck to, not stuck, controlled, hierophant in that 3D. Because they actually deluded themselves thinking... I'm not like, they knew they weren't like these third party, right? They knew they weren't like the baby's mums, the, 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 the marriage. They weren't like those people that they connected to. They felt different. But as of you, you know you're different than a fucking other counsellor. You know you're different than another uh, soulmate Reiki person. You know you're different than to just... Uh, do uh crystals you know that right but it's like not having that moment of you do if you connected with any one of us in this community that's on you right that's your karma but this is like i am different but I, I, you know i don't know where to go with it and that's your person's contract you you're different right you're different so it's waking up to oh that's why i'm different i i now see how I was connected to these three, a third party, but now it's just a me, you two, because it's just doing the two fingers, right? You two, right? You're the key to my heart, the twin flame. The higher front also means, which came out yesterday, and I said I'll talk about it, but it didn't mean so. It means um, seeing people different as well. It's not hierophant with a twin, the, the normal, because they're quite normal, these twins in the, in the hierophant card. And I got this from Alistair Crowley's deck of cards. I can't remember, did I? No, I don't think his hierophant looks like this. But anyway, um, it's to do with, 
it's not a hierarchy it's to do with being yourself then you become wiser in a spiritual level with still keeping grounded to the people that you're connected to wisdom i hope this makes sense it's not like me coming up here and saying you lot right uh, be like me because i'm fucking amazing right i do all the inner work right I, I nailed my twin flame uh i've got this community i make all these programs be like me it's like grounding yourself to the level of just me like i do i just do the stuff and the inner work is just like when david comes up on the community he comes up in the community if he's not he's not like now he's doing he's working with people in mission so I'm not promoting him too much, but yesterday I thought, oh, I'll put him at the end of the video. This isn't for show. Look at that. That's for show. But still connecting with the Hierophant is like, this is why I've connected with, because, oh, that's a contract. So they're waking up to their contract. I don't know if they're waking up to the contract or acting out the contract, because why your person is here is to change the people's 3D right third party people around them of look i've been around you lot all the time we're doing the same thing we're drinking we're smoking we're doing 3d stuff i'm out and it's like he's learning that why his purpose is is why he's got all these people around him to show them that listen i just gone and doing my own thing following my love quickly just turned and gone right and that's what they're supposed to do the masculines why it's your job right your contract is to show people how to slowly go into um spirituality because that takes time for you to remove it's not it don't take time to fucking do it what it takes time to heal from it to remove it to transfer uh uh, to transfer it, to connect, to go back to your past, to change the past, because you're on a program. The matrix, the high priestess, has the veil of illusion, which is connected with the matrix. That takes time. I've always said your person will just quickly, knight of swords, just wake up to the connection and move, fast moving. And that's, I feel that's what's happening. Hence the, the counterparts are in this reading. Uh, I, I don't know what you're doing. Let's see. <laughs> Always asking, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I think you're still listening to other people's bullshit, and I think other people, yeah, other people. I was going to say YouTube, tarot readers, spiritual leaders, family. I still. Nice. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Star. Yeah, the, this is about... Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Star is... Recognising it wasn't their wish come true. So they married someone with a hierophant is structures, religion, cultures, traditions. You know, married someone due to religion or due to family thinking so or thinking that it's the best thing to do, got them pregnant, I should marry them, or act married, or something like that, two of cups, ten of pentacles, the house, the car, the picket fence, right, so choosing two of cups is a cho choice of love to stick to someone with the house, the car, the picket fence, the children, that kind of, right, the star card, thinking it was their wish, wish come true, so this is awakening up for your person that the choice of love they made wasn't the correct one. Fast turnaround of like, no, nah, that wasn't me or my higher self. It was just the choice of what I made, thinking that will result in love. In in the t This is like the house, the car, and the picket fence. And you'll know if you have your person, and this just isn't, twin flames this is just anyone in general because you will literally money and having things in life is not 
And I would say this quote, for example, I say it quite a lot about Victoria Beckham. And someone said that if you, you your house burnt down, what would you take? And she said, I would live in a cardboard box with David Beckham. Don't know if she had the kids then. And that's what love is. And that's what I feel. This is what your person, look, the star, star seeds, the star, the aliens, the galactic, the 5D, the planet, upstairs, 5D, hierophant, higher mind, right? High priestess, higher mind is saying that you're star seed, right? You followed a choice, two of cups, to go to the house, the car, the picket fence, but your star seed, right, is waking them up to that. So this is now the positive connotation of the Hierophant, of going towards his other choice. See, the two fingers, two of cups is making one choice, and now he's choosing two of cups as you and your higher self. Before he just made a choice, he made a choice of what he thought love was, ten of pentacles. And that's not that. When people are really rich and successful and stuff like that, it's because they feel that's their purpose to do it. Like people say, follow what your passion is and what you really want to do. It's quite hard because I thought I wanted to be into computers and stuff like that. I was really interested. Maybe it was design, d destiny that time now. But then when you start working on yourself fully, then you really get into what you really want to do. So this is like recognizing that, you know, healing this is your person's healing, not your version, your person's healing of what the connection is and that kind of what you are, who they are, all that kind of thing. It's this one. It's like they're now following their heart's desire. Determined. It's a, they're opening up that heart space and coming away from the root, the rooted belief systems of being like that. It's like they were following the 3D. I get the house, I get the car, I get the picket fence, and then I will be happy, and they will be happy, and then, you know, whatever will be, will be from that just delusion. Like I said, the web of delusion. And they've clocked. That ain't working. The Ten of Pentacles ain't working. And that's why most... Uh, why do you see when when you get into what shows video uh, films and stuff of rich people I watch Elton John and uh, documentary film kind of thing about how they made it and they always get some not all of them but you know they get into drugs and you know Britney and they get into Britney Spears and they get into drugs and that because why wouldn't you think they'd just be happy with the fame in that because there's more to it and that's it. The Ten of Pentacles isn't the all uh, to, to everything. And when you listen to one or two famous people and they have their sad story of, like, I was famous and blah, 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 you think to yourself, oh, shush, you know, you got loads of money, Ten of Pentacles. you got the house and the car. What are you moaning about, right? But when you're listening to ten of them... Or when you're a light worker and you actually read those people, you know they're unhappy. I saw this video and I don't know, it's an actual song of Rihanna. I saw it about eight years ago, probably ten years ago. I don't know it, but I just saw clips of it. And she was wearing this shirt, but it was see-through. And she, you know, you could see her boobs. And it was a video. And I thought, that girl ain't born to go out there and be semi-naked. She's got an amazing voice. Why is she there showing off her boobs? And I could feel her uncomfortability. I had to look away. And that's what I'm saying. There's an, this is waking up your person to the star, star seeds, the planets are clocking onto him that I don't want this ten of pentacles. I want this other version of life that will make me happy. Like I said, coming out of the fogginess. Now, because <laughs> I said the fogginess is smoke around his head, right? That's smoke. That's that's drugs. You know, it clouds your, your uh, version of your mind. Any drugs, you know, not just saying this could be prescribed drugs, right? It, 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 you know, depression drugs uh, stops the, the dopamines from overreacting. So any sort of drug, right, alcohol or whatever, but 
and now he's seeing things clearly. I don't think I've got to make this clear. They've stopped the trucks. I've got to make this clear. No, this is just awakening to the fogginess of their mind of not recognizing things clearly. Okay. <clears throat> Let's close it out. Oops. It's the first one's I never meant to hurt you. And I put it in reverse. Now, in the reverse means it's about... I would say the wake up to that they were hurting you. Because that's like someone saying, you know, um, I'm sorry. And then they do something and then they say, I'm sorry. They keep doing the same things and saying they're sorry. And they're like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. This is a wake up to of like stopping that past behavior. Gosh, I'm getting loads of emails. <laughs> Stopping that past behavior of just, yeah, it's a pattern. It's a pattern of just lip service, of doing something. Like recognizing that they did hurt you from their actions. Not just saying sorry, going back to it and then, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. And then going back to it and then, and then yeah, I'm sorry. Waking up to that because it was in reverse. Yeah, uh I'm sorry, and I was saying about sorry, I'm sorry that I lied to you. I don't think they're actually going to say that, but like I said, this was a lie. They was... It's a bigger picture of the lie. Like, yeah, I'm going to leave the third party, and, you know, they're never doing it. That kind of lie. Not like, oh, um, I'm going to buy you a packet of crisp, and they didn't buy you a packet of crisp. Not a blatant lie. This is a bigger picture, a reading, of to the lie. I'm sorry I lied to you. I really thought I was going to leave the third party, but I can see clearly now I wasn't leaving. I was stuck in this fogginess, this mental enslavement, this, you know, of trying to how things looked with the third party, you know, I, 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 I stay committed to how things looked, kind of things like that, it was all a lie, it was waking up to the, the lie, that's what it is, um, unhealthy attachments, which is part of their contract, I don't know if they're knowing that, but the unhealthy, and I say it's not drugs, I need to do, I, I had it in my playlist before, I think I removed it about drugs, because drugs is a different situation. This isn't. This is the foggy mind was more of a delusion, not to do with the drugs. When your person does drugs and stuff, your twin flame generally they do that due to the stress of life. That's what most people do drugs for, right? And this is what, you'll probably like this, right? I normally end out with cussing your ass. You'll like this ending. That's what they're waking up to. That is what they're clocked on to. Okay, wicked reading. I'll leave it there. Speak to you later.